Summer is not done with us yet. No, we're not done with summer <laughs> yet. Even as we're talking about September, which is crazy, it's just right around the corner, uh, we'll still be talking about temperatures that could hit 90. We'll be near it as we get into this weekend. Let's get you out the door this morning. Things looking pretty good, though. We're not talking about that heat for today. You've got a few days before it gets here. But this is Carmel Midtown Plaza. Everything's looking very quiet. We're dry, but we do have some issues as far as fog out there. We have some reduced visibility, especially areas north of Indianapolis. Indianapolis at this time you can kind of see in the background. We do have those hazy conditions. The temperature at 65 degrees, but other areas closer to Anderson, Marion along I 69. That visibility has been reduced to close to a mile. Some locations less than it. Anderson one mile visibility out in Montgomery County, Crawfordsville one and a half mile visibility. So expecting these issues to continue for the next couple of hours before we start to see things improving. But live guardian radar is dry. We're looking at a lot of dry time for today. We'll see partly sunny skies in the morning and then transitioning to a lot of sunshine in the afternoon. We're at 66 in Muncie, 64 in Peru and 64 in Bloomington. And these dew point temperatures are above that 60 degree threshold where we start to say things get uncomfortable. We're above it. It's going to be a little bit sticky today, not terrible, but you'll notice that humidity around. As we head towards noon, temperatures in those mid 70s again turning brighter and then a lot of sunshine into the afternoon by 5 o'clock. Looking at that high temperature at 82 degrees. If you are going to be spending time outdoors, our allergy trackers remained pretty consistent for the past few days. Weed pollen and mold, those are both at medium levels. Those will be what will cause you any trouble if you do suffer from allergies. We have a very slim chance for a spotty shower or two as we get later on into the afternoon and early evening hours. Again, that chance is slim. This is five o'clock. We are likely still good at this time, but as we head closer to that eight o'clock hour, this does want to try to bring in a few isolated showers. Again, even that chance I think is very low. Most will stay completely dry all day long. Well, those temperatures dropping to those lower 70s as we head towards the 10 o'clock hour, and then by tomorrow morning, we'll start off a little bit cooler in those upper 50s and lower 60s. Very dry Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Those are looking good, but temperatures will be heating up. We'll bring back our rain chances as we get into Friday and Saturday. But even then, we're still looking at a lot of dry space in there, too. Let's talk about these temperatures. OK, as we get into tomorrow afternoon, a high of 84 would be right at the average for this time of year. A lot of sunshine, 85 for your Thursday. Again, more sunshine as we get into Thursday, 87. Humidity will be rising. I do want to make note that it'll feel a little bit better tomorrow as far as humidity and then it starts to climb up again. So we're up to 87 by Thursday, 86 by Friday. At this time, we're introducing the chance for some widely scattered showers, mainly into the late afternoon and evening hours, lingering into early Saturday with a couple of spotty showers. Still a lot of dry time for your Saturday, a high of 87. As we get into Sunday, though, we're looking at temperatures near 90 degrees. This time we're going 89, looking at a lot of sunshine. It's looking to be a humid close to next weekend as well.